honoured guests and welcome to House of Icons London during Fashion Week in partnership with UK China Fashion Arts and Culture, the first of its kind. To begin, we have a beautiful traditional Chinese dance in honour to celebrate the Chinese New Year. crossway of traditional Chinese costumes, both male and female.
so much for attending this amazing segment. Historically, this is the first time we've actually done a segment like this, where we have partnered with a different culture, a community, um, with their teachings and, and their creativity in China. And I think it's very important with what's going on today. Um, I said this at the beginning of the segment one. Um, regardless of what you hear or read, please treat everyone equally, pass on the love and light, because there's only one race, and that's the human race. So that is a one plea I do have with you, and I'm very proud for doing this segment. And now I'd like to introduce our partner, our title sponsor, UK China Fashion Arts and Culture Limited, the president of the company, Li Jin Bu. Legion would like to say a few words. Thanks, Salita, um, for the lovely introduction. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, a warm welcome to everyone, and thank you for your presence at tonight's first China evening solo segment fashion show during London Fashion Week. We are immensely proud to hold this event in honor of China's intangible cultural heritage, which is not only the wealth of China, but also the wealth of the world and humanity. You are about to see five extraordinary collections from Ninhang Batik, a design company based in Miao minority region in Guizhou province, China. The talented designers and indigenous artists are from remote mountain villages whose lives had been isolated from the rest of the world. Their distinctive and unique fabric dyeing process and exquisite craft craftsmanship have been handed down from generation to generations. The pattern drawn by their hands on fabric have profound meanings of life, arts, and the imagination and spirit. We hope that this event will be a milestone for those designers and indigenous artists. Not only recognized in China fashion scene, but also on the international stage. May our designers get all the recognition that they, de that they de deserve, both in China and the rest of the world. China has 56 minority groups. We want to celebrate this unique culture and heritage. Our company, UK CFAC, is committed to protect China's intangible cultural heritage, keeping traditional crafts alive, encouraging pioneering and innovative design, and promoting cultural exchange between China and the rest of the world. Moving forward, UK CFAC will set up a charity fund with the aim to preserve the Chinese intangible cultural heritage. In doing so, we will continually support and encourage the emerging new talents from the deprived rural area of China to gain the global recognition. We are extremely grateful to the international community and media and the House of Outcome and the Soveta for your support here tonight Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. This is how important it is, is to recognize talent from areas and communities around the world. They all have the right for the world to know about their talent. We're about to showcase you some beautiful collections, as Lin Jin has stated. But what we are going to do first, before we showcase these collections, I want you to see how these creations have been created in their circumstances, 
it will absolutely blow your mind away. Thank you. Collections we'll be showcasing are from Ning Hung Batik. There are five collections. The first collection is a beautiful blue turquoise collection which marries both traditional Chinese print and Western influences.
back out with her amazing team. Thank you.